a little morning adventure flight with Mr. Trevor. Ready, Trevs? He can't hear me. Quick prop. Come on, girl. Got, I think, like 14, 15 liters of fuel. This will probably be the... The most amount of fuel I've ever taken off with. Loose airbox, but it's okay. We're rocking. The strap will keep it in place. We're gonna go hit the ridge over there. Go join Mike. Go up to like 10.5 with shorts. Sounds like a plan to me. And the wind changed direction. Ish. But we'll rock it. You guys already know Trev's about to have the most buttery takeoff, like always. This line is Sirocco, the black wing. Me and Trevor are trying to communicate in some way, shape, fashion right here. We're about, I don't know, I'd say a quarter to maybe halfway to where we were going to land on top of a mountain, which I had no idea what we're, we're doing yet. But I'm pointing over here because I'm like, is it this way? Dog, is it this way? And he's pointing like a swoop right with his, his right arm, like hooking it. And I'm like, are we going left? I see a quarry out there in the distance. Dog, where are we going? So either way, I'm just like, dude, get in front of me. I want to get on the left side of you, and then I was like, all right, screw it. I'm going to slow up and let you get around me, so. All right. down into the ridge a little bit. He's basically ridge story right now. This might be my first like taste of ridge story, I guess. Oh my god, this is so sick. I could feel that lift. That's so cool. So what do we see here? Trevor on the top of a mountain peak, just landing, and you know what happens next is Chuck sees that with his own eyes, visualizes how he approached it, and is like already slipping out of the harness like, okay, sick, we're gonna come in and we're gonna land this. So 
I'm trying to gauge my altitude. I was thinking in my head a little bit. I'm like, it'd be kind of cool to do an engine off landing, but this is not going to be the first time that I'm going to kill my engine when I go for a first time mountaintop landing. So it wouldn't be the wisest decision, should I say. So I'm scoping it out. I'm looking at my elevation. I'm like, okay, gauging it, kind of seeing where he came in. He followed the path, but wind's coming a little bit, a little bit more off angle than what the path was uh, dead on. So I look, I do my first attempt or fly into it we're both we both kind of agree in our head we're like circle back around circle back around so i climbed up a little bit scoped it out one more time and i was making my actual session where i'm like okay we're gonna we're gonna come in from the bottom side a little bit and kind of ride up right up the ridge because i know the wind's coming over so it's popping over popping over i can already feel it trevor's just pissing gloriously right now in the open open air like nothing more freeing than that just just enjoying a mountaintop piss we're going to lay the wing down, and we're going to chill up here for a minute, and I'm probably going to uh, join him on that glorious pee. And uh, the fun part about me landing up here was I have to take back off, and I'm like, this will be my first mountain takeoff that I've ever done in my entire life. Yes, everyone on YouTube, you see this? Yeah, this is true class and style right here. Up and down. I might not be speaking it right here, but I am beyond stoked to have my first mountain takeoff. That was super cool. Soup, it's just, it was amazing feeling. Noted, I've never paraglided before in my life, so it's probably the closest thing I've ever gotten to running off a mountain. Could I have probably actually ran off that mountain with gear and not even applied throttle? Eh, debatable. You know we had to get Trevor's takeoff, so he's already standing there on the edge, thrusting it up, here he goes, rips it right off without the slightest of issues, because it is Mr. Trevor Steele. There's never an issue when it comes to taking off on top of a mountain. Only potential swoop, swoop ins and doing a little bit of tip drags on a cord field. Too soon? I don't believe so. Me and Trevor got a good comedy going. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Either way, continue on with the flying. I just want to get some of this low flying with him, dude. This is so fun. Dude, we are truly just ripping up this canyon left and right, like having the time of our lives. And should I say canyon more or less, just a little bit of a mountain ridge-ish. We're coming down. We're enjoying it. I'm happy feeting up here right now. This is a great time. This is one of the little foot drags Trevor wanted to attempt, but I believe there was too much of a decline for him to go in and swoop it. But either way, this is freeing as all hell. You can see the quarry over there to the right in our distance. And uh, I believe we're going to go watch Trevor do some foot dragging on a little pond next to a razor coming up. This is so sick. Watching Trevor in videos do these kind of maneuvers to literally kind of trying to shadow him. This is such a vibe, dude. Such a vibe.
You guys can't see it yet, but we have the crispiest of the crispiest, Mr. Trevor, coming up. I'm going to do a beautiful foot drag up here in the mountaintops. As you can see, the Razor was just stopping by and touchdown right now. Crisp line right through the water, pulls up about 10 foot prior to exit. Swoops right, right by them while they're filming and loving it every second of it, clapping. What a celebratory little flyby for Trevor right there. I get excited. I do a little bit of left and right carving. We're both stoked. We're both just having the time of our lives out here. Let's continue down the mountain. That was sick, Trevor. You know you can't carve down the little dune section and not come say hi to the locals. They were definitely... People are normally, nine times out of ten, either stoked to see us, and that one out of ten person is just that Karen that's like, F off. We don't want you in our area. Go away. You're just bogging the hell out of us. These guys are waving, having a good old time. The chick even came back by the bathroom and was just like, wow, that's so awesome. I'd rather be on, I'd rather be up in the air than on two wheels right now. As much as I love two wheels and a good black 2021 TW200, which I used to have two of, but no longer have them. We're going to go land by the bathroom because, you know, Trevor, any mid-morning flight after a cup of coffee, you know the rest. Fill it in. Sure, Trevor wants a bathroom break, and that's why he's. I'm like, yeah, Trevor, go ahead, go first. Dust my wing, why don't you, dog? Dusting the ever-living hell out of it. No biggie, though, whatever. Pause, gets text right after bathroom. Forgot to mention, literally going to be late to a meeting that I had. I had 14 minutes to get there. The LZ is probably, if I had to take a guess, between 10 and 20 minutes, depending on what the winds were going to be like after I got over the side of the mountain. So I'm flying, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if I checked my phone now or checked my phone before. I'm, I'm probably explaining in the video what's going on. But I am hauling ass back. I climb up a little bit, full, full trim out. And I'm doing like 53 miles an hour, hauling ass back to the LZ. And unfortunately, since my mind was preoccupied with something else, once I got to the LZ, I did not check wind direction. And as you guys can imagine, how bad of a thing that would be for someone to land downwind with their legs already being screwed up. So continue video. All right, guys, we made it back to the LZ pretty fast, probably way faster than Trevor. I don't even know where Trevor's at. Oh, he's right there, he's not too far back. But I know for sure I'll be in time for the meeting be nice. Ow! Fuck! Gosh damn it! You okay? Fucking A. Was I downwind? Yeah. Fuck. Nonetheless, that downwind landing was completely my fault. I have no reason to be mad. Apologize for the cursing, but my legs were already destroyed, as you guys can see. Trevor, what an incredible flight we had. Awesome mountaintop. Hopefully those ankles that you guys see right there on Trevor in this picture are healing up and recovering as quickly as possible because God only knows that Trevor wants to be back up in the air and he doesn't want to be sitting on a trike the rest of his... Uh, the rest of this year. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Note, I did make my meeting in time. The meeting lasted like 38 minutes, so thankfully I was there for it. Trav, thanks for putting away the gear. Thanks for taking me out. Thanks for an amazing advanced training um, 
class. It was just overall incredible. Um, I'll post some clips here and there, either on Facebook or on YouTube of the crashers that made the legs the way that they are. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Take care.